Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for October 30th through November 5th. Now I need to remind you that this may or may not resonate with you as it's for hundreds and thousands of people and this is a general reading. This is for Libra, Sun and Rising. If you want to know why I don't include the moon signs, you can go ahead and watch my welcome video. I have pre-shuffled, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. I will zoom this in correctly once I'm done laying out the cards. basis of your reading is the Knight of Wands, okay? That is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I'm just getting this zoomed in for a moment. Okay, that card is also about taking action, moving, all right? Getting your butt moving in some direction. It's really showing your passion, all right? It's also about adventure and lust, okay? So that is the basis of your reading, Libra, for October 30th to November 5th. Okay, so many of you are taking action this week. And I think you're honoring your truth, all right? You may have some desires and you may be heading in that direction towards your heart's desire, all right? I think you're feeling very passionate this week. You're focusing your energy in another direction. Perhaps there's a new love that has walked into your life who has, or, or who has sparked your interest. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. All right. We have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Taurus. And that is what I see right now. I do, see, and I see Scorpio. I think I already mentioned that. But it looks like to me that there's been an ending, all right? There's been a completion. There's, there, we have the death card, and we have leaving something behind that probably hurt. It hurt to let it go, okay? It did. But it was time for you to, to focus in another direction. It had to end. It looks like this needed to end. I think it was a relationship. I do. I think it was a love connection that ended. I really do. I think it it had to end and it hurt, okay? But now you have this renewed excitement, okay? You've accepted the truth, okay? Because here's accepting the truth, focusing your energy in a different direction towards a new love, perhaps. Now, bits and pieces may resonate with you and other bits and pieces may not. This isn't going to be for every single person that watches it. I feel like many of you have surrendered. You have surrendered. You have decided it was time to let go. You acted on your hunches. You, you did it. You've decided, you know what? It's time. It's time for me to go. I, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out my self-confidence. I'm going to use my courage. I'm going to accept this challenge. And I'm going to move forward. Okay? And that involves leaving something behind that you were emotionally attached to. And it did hurt. Okay? And I believe it was a, some kind of relationship. All right? So I do also see that happiness is here. That happiness is here now because you have taken action. You've, you've taken action. So here we have happiness. We have contentment. We have bliss. Because you have done what you needed to do. You've accepted a dare, per se. You've acted on your hunches, all right? You've accepted the truth. You've listened to your inner guide. You've, you've really used all your resources. You've worked hard to let go, okay? You have. You've worked hard because you deserve love, you deserve love, okay? This Knight of Wands being the basis of your reading tells me that you 
took action. All right. You, your passion is coming back. And I think for many of you, there's a new love interest. Okay, I do. I think it's a time of transformation for you. If you're single, a new love could certainly be pursuing you, or you could be pursuing them. And it's all because you surrendered. All right? I think you've been giving an, given an opportunity to accept some truth or see some truth. You've had some kind of awakening and you've decided to focus your energy in a different direction. Okay? It's like a time of renewal for you and I think you're vibrating very high this week. Could be somebody you work with. Okay? that comes into your life it could be somebody you work with that could make you very happy it could be a long lasting relationship with a lot of happiness I think that you have been through a period of time where you really needed to uh, invoke some forgiveness okay but I think you've done that I think you've been through a period of grief but you've surrendered it you've, you've decided to walk away from it You've decided to let go, and here it comes. Here comes your new excitement. This is for Libra. This week looks very exciting. Very, very exciting. No more pretending. Things are starting to grow. Change is on the horizon. You may receive some communication from somebody this week. If you've been expecting it, it may come in this week. It looks like your time of waiting is probably just about over. All right. Looks like you've been through a lot of healing. A lot. You've really worked on it. You've dug deep. You've worked on balancing your emotions you ha you're seriously going through a period of renewal. There is no doubt about it. Okay? I see a new partner. And there you are. And you are going to be very happy. I see a lot of happiness here. And you did it. You took action towards your dreams. Okay? It's like... It took a while. It, did, it wasn't easy. It, was a, it took a lot of hard work to... Um, leave something behind, okay? You went through a lot of grief with this Three of Swords and this Eight of Cups. You know, you were very emotionally attached, but your de with that death card, it, you let it go. You definitely let it go. And now, you're, the real growth, the real um, you know, the real Profit, the real, um, what you were meant to get is coming. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Because you have taken action, your harvest is now here. Okay, it is. You took action. You, you grew within you grew within, and now your bountiful harvest is here, and it's exciting. It's not what you expected. It's not where this grief was at, because you had to let this go first. You had to. To, to get what you deserve. You had to let this go to get what you deserve. Okay? So, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, I feel like many of you are now at a period where you just have to have faith and trust. And you are. You're having faith and trust. I think your prayers are starting to be answered in regards to love. And it's because you took action, Libra. I think that you are going to receive some kind of message, if you haven't already, this week from somebody that is very exciting all right and I tend to think 
it's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay? And I think that your time of waiting, your time of... Um, being stuck wherever you were stuck at is over okay it feels like things are finally happening in your favor but they're happening because you took action okay you've been through a period of healing there's no doubt about it okay and i think that that we have a lot of faith and trust here twos are faith and trust sevens sevens are about faith um, sevens are about also a divine connection. We also have the high priestess. I believe that many of you have a divine connection that you have been working with that has been helping you to heal. Okay? And to see the light in helping you to awaken. Okay? They have. They've given you this awakening and now the fruits of your hard work are starting to pay off. You've worked on healing. I think the challenges you've been through are over. I think this looks like an exciting week where somebody could enter your life and you're ready for it. You're open and ready. But it wasn't easy because you had to literally let somebody go. The death card is here for a reason. Something had to end that you were holding on to. And you finally decided to walk away from it. Even if it hurt. You just decided to surrender. And when you did that, that's when the universe said, okay. Here we go. Here we go. No more. She's, this person isn't pretending anymore. They're wide awake. Let's bring it on. I'm going to get you one of these daily angel guidance cards. Daily, yeah, daily angel guidance from Doreen Virtue. Oh, perfect timing. Love it. And one of these Archangel Michael cards. Ooh, and I think that is exactly what you've been doing. I think that you are probably vibrating very high. You are probably pulling somebody in and they probably think you are absolutely gorgeous. Just wanted to let you know. That's the basis of your reading. Perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay. Or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. You have done this. You have. Lean on God and the angels for support. My prayer. Dear God and angels, I give you this situation. Briefly describe the situation. Dear God and angels, I give you this heartache, grief, sadness, this loss now and completely I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. Lean on God and angels for support. Dear God and angels, I give you this grief, this past, now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone 
and everything involved. I surrender. That's what I have for you, Libra. Talk to you later.